All right, I hear a woodpecker out in the distance somewhere. I want to do some ash splitting this morning. We got to get caught up a little bit on some stuff. Weather is kind of cooperating. It's a little muggy, but it's not yet raining, but it's coming. So we're going to get some ash cut up today. I think we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to try to put a tote at the end of the splitter, see if some of the splits will go into the tote. Maybe save 10, 15 minutes of throwing the wood in there. It's not ideally lined up, but I'm going to show you the setup we've got, show you how we've got it going, see if we can get some of this done here early morning and get caught up a little bit. So let's head over there and get it done. All right, we've got our ash rounds cut to 16 inches. We've got them stacked here. So what we did was move the splitter, got the rugged made 28 ton over here. I may need to hand stack that. I put it a little close to the log lift, may bump those few, but I'll get that log lift. It makes a nice little tray actually, kind of a working table. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to split. I'm gonna try with the six way here in a minute. Got the four way wedge on there right now, but we got the six way over there probably just like our friends from dude ranch diy say 95 percent of the time i've got this wedge on there but i'm gonna see if the six way some of these about nine eight inch rounds i think those might work well for the six way just split them all in one pass instead of having to go back and forth so hopefully i'll save some time but here's what i'm gonna try today it's not ideal because i cut this little notch into the tote I don't cut all the totes that way, but I cut this one. I've got this little lip here. So I don't know. Firewood doesn't slide real well. So I think what I was gonna end up happening is I'm gonna get a little bunch up right there and eventually it'll tumble over the top into here and, and we'll see from there. So if you're new to the channel, this is the way I used to do my firewood. I'd cut the notch. I'd take the time to stack them in there back to back on top of each other, knowing that I get one face cord uh, or a third of a cord or a rick, or in Louisiana, they call this a half cord just to make it more confusing. But what I've started doing is these are a little short, so bear with the fact that these are more like for barbecue or solo stoves, but just tossing them in there and kind of heaping over the top to, to get to that full cord measurement. There's another one right there dedicated. That one's going to Boy Scouts. They're gonna come get it soon. So yeah, this is my setup for the morning. Let's see how she works. All right, we're gonna take off the four way. Just slides right up, conveniently throw it on the ground like that. This is your single wedge. If you get some real knotty stuff, you get a branch, ironwood, live oak, sometimes some of the pecan, this is, Less friction, can split it in half. Obviously, you're gonna have to go back and do a few more passes. The four-way seems to be my go-to. But what we're gonna do now is we picked up an optional six-way from Rugged Made. It does have a little lip on here, so you can't put it on upside down. The wings have a little angle to them. I think it's to keep the wood in place. But we'll slide it right on. This doesn't have the hydraulic lift that some of the other real high dollar splitters have. What I do is I try to find the right size rounds, center it up. If I have to, I'll go ahead and lift it just a little, but you always gotta be careful because this is the pinch point. If you get between it and the push plate, that's a bad day. But we're gonna try that six way. We're gonna try a couple pieces of rounds. Ash should be perfect. Go right in. All right.
All right. I am not a wood identification expert, obviously, because the first four pieces of wood that I split were elm, not ash. Completely different. Sometimes I think you can split ash with a good karate chop. Elm is the another story. So the six way, as you saw, didn't work at all. Splintered, stringy, too much friction, not enough to really get through, making really messy splits. So we went to the four way, even that bogged down just a bit on some of this is elm. So not elm's okay for firewood. It's not great. It has a little bit different smell. So it's a little more fragrant than ash, but it is kind of a pain. So I think I've got a mix of elm and ash in here. So we're going to go ahead and still try to make a dent. I threw a handful of those things in there, so I probably didn't give a good test to see how it goes. The next, I'm going to try to put you on time lapse. And then what I'm going to do is stop throwing the wood in there as best I can. It kind of becomes a habit. And I'm going to see what tumbles in there. So we're going to set you up and get going. It is starting to rain in the wood yard. Probably gonna have to just throw something over top just to keep this from rusting. But I tell you, sometimes you're the windshield, sometimes you're the bug. This did not work at all. All I really did was bunch up as I was trying to get it to fall in. Maybe a few pieces. I probably threw half those in there just out of habit. But they bunched up here and spilled over the side. And uh, pretty awesome video content to talk about splitting all this ash and it all ends up being elm. Here's a perfect example. Elm sucks. What a pain. All right, well, we are gonna quickly get this off the ground and into the tote keep it from getting muddy, keep it from getting too wet. We'll throw a cover on it. Got a cover sitting right here and we're gonna stop making you dizzy with the camera and I'm getting in and out of the rain. Thanks for watching y'all.